Hello guys, this is Celebrity Life. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out in any of our videos. Thank you all. Selena Gomez has everyone talking with her new show Only Murders in the Building and a steamy kiss scene with Cara Delevingne has people curious about her love life. Gomez has been romantically linked to A-list celebrities like Nick Jonas, Taylor Lautner, Justin Bieber, and Orlando Bloom, but she still hasn't found the one. The actress will often joke about her single status on viral TikTok videos, and while there are probably plenty of men that would love to give love a shot with her, we will have to wait and see who she chooses to explore with next. While Gomez doesn't need anyone but herself, we connected again with North America's leading luxury matchmaking firm Selective Search founder Barbie Adler who selected four eligible bachelors that would be perfect for Gomez. Throughout the last 22 years, Barbie and the Selective Search matchmakers have made introductions that have led to over 4,000 happy couples and 500 children, check out the men. Though Justin H. Min is a well-known actor, that's not all he and Gomez have in common, both are ambassadors for UNICEF, each uniquely passionate about their philanthropic work. The two can bond over their love for giving back and definitely can plan a date for volunteering. Son of famous Clint Eastwood Scott is an actor who understands the complexities of Hollywood. After losing his former girlfriend in a car accident, Scott has opened up about mental struggles, a topic that Selena greatly cares about, Scott is ready to settle down and start a family, something Selena appears to be ready for too. As a fellow Disney star turned major celeb Zac Efron understands what it's like to be in the spotlight constantly from a younger age. The two have many mutual connections, making it easy for them to connect and begin their romantic relationship. Ross Butler played a character in the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why of which Gomez was an executive producer. The two have the shared experience of being involved with that show, making it a great mutual connection. Selena Gomez is officially back in the studio. On Wednesday, July 6, the superstar shared a glimpse of herself inside the vocal booth on TikTok, simply captioned new. The catch? The TikTok comes virtually without any sound, so selenators aren't able to get an audible sneak peek of what their queen is cooking up. Whatever music she's making, though, will be a follow-up to her 2021 Spanish-language EP Revelation, which peaked at number 22 on the Billboard 200 and earned Gomez her first-ever Grammy nomination for Best Latin Pop Album. At the 64th Annual Grammy Awards in April, the singer's most recent full-length studio effort, meanwhile, was 2020's Rare, which contained number one hit Lose You To Love Me, as well as follow-up singles look at her now rare and boyfriend. Gomez's behind-the-scenes TikTok isn't the first time she's teased new music in the last few weeks, either. During a celebration event for her cosmetics brand Rare Beauty, she hinted at the prospect during a rapid-fire Q&A session with TikTok makeup artist Michaela Nagara. During the event, she also revealed her favorite song from her back catalog Remains Lose You To Love Me Of Course, the one-time Disney Channel starlet has had plenty of other commitments on her plate in between albums. Season 2 of her hit series Only Murders in the Building just premiered on Hulu, and she also took time off to attend the star-studded wedding of Britney Spears and Sam Asghari, where she even jumped on the mic with Paris Hilton to perform an impromptu